Hey everybody, Gary with 3D HP. We're out in the laser room today where I've got my uh, fiber laser, my How 10 60 watt JPT MOPA, and I've got my Roly um, 10 slash 20 watt behind me. Well, I've got some black acrylic here a while back, and I got hold of my friend Patrick of White Search Engraving. He also sells these on his site. He makes custom tin plates for business cards and pen jigs. So I've got the files from him to make the jig for my business cards. I put it together wrong, or I'd done something wrong with the files, and I wound up having to put the bottom plate back over on my rolly and put a hole in it. So when I drop in the business card and I go to take it out, I can just push it up with my fingers. So I did something wrong when I cut that out, but it went good, and I had to fix my timing settings. I had problems with my timing settings on my fiber laser, so I had to get a hold of, I'll put the video link down here at the bottom of the screen, and uh, Geo, here's his uh, website right here over on YouTube. And I had to work on my timing numbers, and though I don't think I got it perfect, I got it really close. I can Now I can finally start engraving some really cool pictures on business cards. But in today's video, we're going to be engraving my logo with a QR code where you can just like give them out to people. They're very heavy duty, high gloss business cards that you can pick up on Amazon. I'll have a link down below also where you can find those at. Let me jump in a light burn. I'll show you what I did and we'll get going right now. All right, let's show you how I make the QR code here in Lightburn. Simply go up to Tools, scroll down to Create QR Code, draw a square in the same motion. Okay, under Raw Content, I'll simply copy and paste my YouTube channel, and then I'll hit OK. If I should want to make a QR code so somebody can log on to a specific Wi-Fi, you enter that information here, or you can put in contact information or whatever you want. And I simply want my YouTube channel so when people scan it, they go straight to my YouTube. And it's in line mode. We'll put that in fill mode. And there we have it. And I can simply position it wherever I want it. Well, let me go back up here, get my pointer. Then I can size it accordingly like I've done over here on the left. So, let's go ahead and get rid of that real quick. And I've got this set up for my business cards. Let me show you some of my settings here. Now, I have a Houtian 60 watt fiber laser. And I had to go through my timing, reset up my timing, try to get things correct. And with the help of some of my friends, which I'll list them at the end of the video, I got my settings dialed in here pretty close. Now, these aren't exact, but so far they're work, work, working real well for me. So you kind of take a look here at what I got. And then we're going to be burning business cards. And my design that I'm currently using is from Light Source Engraving, my friend, my friend Patrick, that I got the files from, and then I burned on my... Uh, black acrylic on my rolly and I didn't quite put them together right so I wound up having to drill holes in the bottom of them with laser burn holes in them so I can pop out the business cards but I'll have a link to his channel and his site where you can find those at if you choose to buy them but I'll come up here to laser tools let's go to repeat marking and it's set up for a grid of six once you type in a number here, will be six, eight. Who do we appreciate or whatever else you want to put in here. If it's pens, you know, put in 30, put in 40, whatever it may be. You hit calculate, it automatically calculates the degree. You line up your rotary, you set it up to frame your object. You can line that up by hand. And then once you hit start, it will go all the way around and it will test itself. It will uh, burn all those. And if you want to run a test, jump over here to the next screen here where you can hit test. And you can get everything set up, but it works works very well. So for what we got going here, we got six spots. They're at 60 degrees. It will go around and engrave each spot and then go back and start at the first spot, and it will shut off. And then my QR code, here's what I got for my settings, my 60 watt. These can probably be refined a lot more, but here's what I'm currently using. So let's get that going here right now.
literally shut off my fans from the chill that came out. Pretty good. But yeah, I'm really happy with how the business cards came out. And like I showed you earlier, you can scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to my uh, YouTube channel. Came out amazingly well. And on the back, it's a little bit crooked, but <laughs> got my email a little bit crooked there. So I need to work on that. But I'm real happy with it. Uh, thank you to all my channel members. I'll list them here on the screen. And thank you to all the people that helped me with my settings you know, on my fiber laser and light burn to get things where they are. I'll list them on the screen here also. And until the next video, everybody have an awesome day and uh, happy laser and fiber engraving. Later, guys. Have a great day.